guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do a video today that isn't a vlog because I'm aware my channel has been quite vlog heavy recently. So I'm gonna do a what's in my fridge and what's in my freezer because I was gonna do a food shopping haul but the night it arrived it was just chaos. So I was like, okay, I'll just put it away and then I'll do a what's in my fridge and freezer kind of thing. So yeah, let's go have a look. Right, so here we go. Here is our fridge. I think let's start at the top, shall we? So. Here um, is where I usually store sort of sauces and juices and things like that. And then I've got some random snacky bits here. So picked these up for the first time this week to see if Isla would like them. They're little like kind of toasted bread things and cheese. She ate all the cheese and didn't eat the toasty things, but never mind. Mayonnaise, kids are obsessed with mayonnaise. So we've got mayonnaise there. Garlic mayonnaise, this is from, I think it's from Aldi. It's, I love garlic, but it's just, it's, it's too much, too much. Um, Robert loves this yogurt. It's some sort of protein yogurt, I believe. So yeah, that's his. Um, what's this? Oh, some soap. Uh, I quite like this one actually. I've had it before. Tomato and red pepper with Wednesday day. That's why I like it because it's got cheese in it. So that's that. And then yeah, just a water that was left over from um, a day out we had, I think it was. Ketchup. Always need ketchup. Something of a uh, nice jam that's not been opened yet. Red Bull, which was left over from a long distance drive I did recently. Oh, that's really, really old. I think I need to throw that away. We don't really eat it. It's like when people come to visit, like breakfast and that. Um, balsamic vinegar. I love oil and vinegar with bread. Fresh orange juice is like my thing at the moment. I absolutely love fresh orange juice. So, yep, always got some of that in our fridge. Usually cheese and that goes on this shelf, but this is Lachlan's Dairy Free Cheese that we kind of find the one he likes the most in terms of like grated on top of pasta and things. That is a, oh, some protein smoothie thing that I had for my lunch yesterday and obviously did not finish. Some um, tomato and her pizza topper, although I realise we've got a pizza kit in here, so I think I forgot I had that. Sweet chilli sauce, because we love sweet chilli sauce for dipping. Now onto the middle shelf. I feel like this is going to be harder to um, show you. So yeah, leftover sweet corn. Two different types of butter. I'm loving Lurpak at the moment. It's nice and salty. So that's my fave. Um, Lachlan's Dairy Free Butter there. Then uh, quite a lot of cheese. Although not as much as we usually have. So just some mature cheddar. Always has to be mature. Um, some halloumi. Let's put that back in there because I'm running out of space down here. These um, Dairy Lee Dunker things that the kids like. They prefer these to the tube things you get, you know, the flavoured ones. Oh, I'm so excited to have these on top of a salad, just to make my salad nice and healthy. What's back here? Oh, some corn mini savoury eggs. We absolutely love these. These are great snack for the kids. Um, some dairy free, what was it? It's meant to be like cheddar slices for Lachlan, but he's not as big a fan of this as he is of that grated cheese up there. So yes. And then these pizza kits are the best. They're quite hard to track down actually, I've noticed. They're not in all supermarkets, but I found this one, I think in Sainsbury's. So good. You get like the sauce as well as the bases and you can just put whatever you like on them. So we, um, yeah, we love them. Then onto this shelf. This is my favorite brand of hummus. It's so good. I've had this since like, I was a teenager, we used to get it in Holland. This one I've not had before actually, it's garlic and red pepper, I usually get the plain one, but the only place i found it is Sainsbury's, so, so good. This basil pesto stuff is really nice, so we are gonna have it with this gnocchi back here and a bunch of vegetables, I love gnocchi, it's just like a really nice sort of alternative to pasta. Then um, some Edam cheese, that should probably be up there to be fair. Let's pop it down here for a second. Um, oh, this lasagna was so good. This is leftover corn lasagna I made with, instead of pasta, it's butternut squash strips, like sheets, so, so, so good. Um, gonna be making that quite a lot. Some ham, let's pop that in there. Oh my goodness, these are amazing as well. Oh, let me try and get them out properly. I love these. I discovered them a few weeks ago. They are risotto balls, beetroot and goat's cheese. Oh my goodness me. So, so, so nice. I'm running out of places to put stuff. There we go. Um, some salmon there. What's in that one there? Let's have a look. I think these are like the fresh, yeah, fresh breaded fish finger things. And then over here we got some garlic bread. Always good for having with pasta and stuff. Some chicken that I just realized should not be sitting on top of them. That should be at the bottom. So I will have to move him. And then yeah, some, um, sorry, just putting on the floor, <laughs> some um, pizza. So this wasn't the one I ordered, it was a substitute. I actually ordered the jackfruit one, which is really good. I've not had this one before, so I can't vouch for it, but it sounds really nice. Butternut squash, I guess, and broccoli with a, oh, a butternut vegetable base as well. Ooh, healthy pizza, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And then yeah, a Pizza Express American for Robert. 
Then in the drawers we have on this side some yogurts. So with Isla, you get the is it Yeo Valley ones or um, the Petit Blue ones. And then Laughlin has got his dairy free ones down there. He either has these Tesco ones or the coconutter ones. I think that's what they're called. They come in like a sachet kind of thing. And then Yakult. I don't usually buy Yakult. This is the first time I bought it just because I've had a bit of a sore tummy. So I'm seeing if it helps. And yeah, some grapes and some strawberries. Then in this drawer, we've got some cut up apples there. I'm, I'm so lazy, but cut up apples are the best thing for kids snacks and stuff. Um, some baby plum tomatoes, prefer the plum ones to the cherry ones. Uh, mixed peppers, this was great because it was red, yellow, orange, no green ones, because I don't like green ones. And then yeah, some baby corn and mange too for stir fry and that's an aspel cider for Robert down there. I realise I'm making it look out as if Robert's got alcohol in the fridge and I don't, but I do have Prosecco, it's just sitting on top of the fridge at the moment until I actually want to drink it and I will chill it in the fridge. Um, over here we have got whole milk, semi skin milk, Lachlan's growing up Alpro soya milk, but he also has oat milk as well, he only has this like once a day at night, and then appetizer. Then up here, some already opened jam, some caramelised onion chutney, I think that's very old, I might need to throw that out. A bunch of stir fry sauces, we've got oh, two sweet chilies and a black bean, some limes, I think he's a bit old actually, he needs to go in the bin. Some random leftover uh, mini cheeses there. Then up here, it's just a bit of a dumping ground to be honest, we've got some garlic puree, ginger puree for making stir fries and stuff, oh, random thing of jam. Um, Dips, like I save my Domino's dips and things because I love them. And oh, some more stir fry ones. This must be quite old. What's the date on that? Oh, 2018. Let's get rid of them, shall we? I'm so bad for shoving stuff and forgetting. But yeah, just a bunch of sauces in there. Now onto the freezer. So let's start with the top drawer, shall we? Um, some ice, because we like ice for our gin and stuff like that, wine. Some mini Danish pastry selections for the weekend. Then in here I have two sort of like smoothie mix things. That one is Body Boost smoothie mix. And then this is a breakfast one, which sounds nice. I really need to try that. That one's not been opened yet. Then down here we have some chicken and some of those Ella's Kitchen, they're really good. They're like, um, let me show you, little veggie cubes you can stir into sauces and things you make to make them more healthy. And then some other Ella's Kitchen things, so some cheesy croquettes and some mac and cheese bites. Onto this drawer, we have some lightly spiced wedges that the kids love, some cod fishy things, they're like little sort of breaded fish things from Ella's Kitchen again. Some basic pizzas that are sometimes used for Isla on like a school night and then put like lots of nice toppings that she likes on them. Then we've got some frozen sausages that were like left over from the other night. More, I've got lots of Ella's Kitchen in here. Some Ella's Kitchen cheese and courgette muffins. Some Ella's Kitchen upside down cottage pies and also their chicken nuggets there too. Um, some, are they plain scones or cheese scones? They look like cheese scones. Some uh, sweet potato lattice things, just for a bit of a difference from usually having tatties or whatever. Uh, Yorkshire puddings, a random corn on the cob, and some fish goujon things, which I thought would be lovely. They're like lemon and pepper, but they didn't go down very well with the kids, unfortunately. And onto this drawer, so we've got some crispy mini potatoes, some meat-free mint stuff there. I usually have corn stuff, I think they'd run out. Some chopped up onion, love this for cooking. Oh, Morella's Kitchen, meaty meatballs this time. Some corn pieces, also some corn, what's this? More corn pieces, and then some southern fried bites. I think they're meant to be a little bit like nuggets. Then some little mini tatty waffles there. Oh, some other corn chicken nugget thingies. And then these I haven't tried yet, but I've heard lots of good things about them. They're like vegan nugget things. Um, fries is the brand of them. Some fish cakes there, and I've just noticed I still haven't thrown it out. This is my last ever bag of breast milk. And yeah, I'm weird, I still haven't thrown it out. And lastly, the bottom drawer. So I do have some corn mints, it would appear. And also some baked potatoes there that we use quite a lot. The frozen ones are amazing because they cook so fast. Some peas, some more Elder's Kitchen stuff, strawberry and banana muffins this time. Oh, another smoothie mix. I think that one's actually from Aldi. Some ice lollies left over from the summer. What's this, a nan bread maybe? and then bread. Some chicken which really needs to be thrown out because that's from like last summer and um what's this? Oh 
a few random roast tatties. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment in the comments below letting me know like your best sort of tips for organizing your fridge because I don't really know what I'm doing. I just shove it all in and hope for the best. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.